and we have uh, all day today for me to learn from you. But uh, as far as I can tell, this is uh, my fav most favorite opportunity uh, to meet people and talk about this in all of the, the 20 years that I have been involved in compliance and ethics. I really appreciate this opportunity. What I want to talk about is uh, my title, which is what every leader should know about compliance officers and compliance programs. And uh, I am going to talk about this in very simple terms. It is, for some of you, uh, it will be very basic. For others, it will be, um, <clears throat> I assume, the first time they've seen it presented in this way. Uh, for everyone, it will be somewhat uh, debatable. In other words, there is no place in the world where everybody agrees exactly how a compliance office, a program should be run. And there's no place in the world where everybody agrees what, how to define a compliance officer. We're even struggling in the world as to what to call it. We have translated some of our uh, documents. We have a code of ethics for compliance officers. We've translated it into uh, uh, 10 or more languages. We get people from the country of origin of the language to translate the document into their language. And all of them have struggled to, as to what to call this thing. And of course, I will use the term I use, the Compliance and Ethics Program. And it may be that, or we should, all over the world, pick one name for it. But the point is, is that this concept is in its infancy. And I believe that this con concept is unbelievably important. The compliance program and the role of the compliance officer. And I'm going to try and describe why I think this is so important. Um, one of the byproducts, one of the uh, things that a compliance program and a compliance officer helps an organization do is build trust. If a department of the government or a company, uh, a private for-profit company or an NGO implements a compliance and ethics program, one of the things that it accomplishes is builds trust. And I want you to think right now about the global economy, okay? We are all doing business with each other now, all over the world. And companies have decisions to make about where to do business. And one of the factors they might want to uh, consider is the number of people. So a lot of companies go to China. Um, or where there's lots of money, so they might go to another country. But on their, their top list, maybe top five of considerations of countries to do business in, is trust. Uh, will my copyright be trusted? Will my intellectual property be trusted? If I build a building there and have assets in that country, will uh, 
it be safe? Um, if I partner, if I am a company somewhere in the world, and I am making decisions about where to partner, uh, do, do what company to partner with, I will think a lot about, do I trust them? Okay, and so the countries and companies in the global economy will be affected by trust. It's possible that trust could be the most important thing for a company or a country to be successful. I'm very opinionated. Here comes one very opinionated comment. I think the most important thing you could do to be a trusted company or a trusted country is to implement compliance and ethics programs. I think there is no other more effective tool when implemented completely and when the compliance program is implemented effectively, there is no other more effective tool than a compliance program compliance and ethics program to build trust. If I am correct that trust increases the success economically of a company and a country, then every citizen of that country will have a higher standard of living. I think it's amazing. If a compliance and ethics program is as important as I think it is to com companies and countries, so important that it affects the standard of living for individuals in that country, then I think this is one of the most amazing things happening right now in, in the world. And uh, that may help you understand if I believe that and uh, that why I consider this such a great opportunity to be here to talk to you and learn from you about how compliance and ethics programs are uh, being implemented in places far away from my home. Uh, one other thing, it's very important for you all to tell me uh, when I have, say, 10 or 5 minutes left in my 45 minutes, so we get to, can they, you, you have courage, you stop me. Um, and please uh, raise your hand if you have a question or a comment, particularly when I get to the part where I describe my version of a compliance program. It would be different from some of yours, and we need to debate it and discuss it. And you need to raise your hand. Um, and excuse me, you need a microphone because of the distribution of the sound. So I'll wait till the microphone comes to you, and you can raise your hand. We'll get you the microphone. We'll ask the question. 